Hi friends, welcome to Tutor's Funny channel. Today I am going to teach advanced bus booking system using Java. Let us show the demo first. This is a demo you can see here. You will be able to enter the customer name. Here, this part for uh, booking the ticket, right? This is a small uh, bus having a 12 sheet. Uh, you can book the uh, sheet number here, right? Here, I am going to book the sheet number as 3. So, I am going to enter the customer name. I am going to Peter. Click 3. If you click, it will be booked. Here, 3000 for the amount. Here, you will be uh, see here, the previous days are disabled. Right? The previous, the past days are disabled. You can't able to do anything else. Okay? This only, it is starting from today onwards. Ticket will be able to book. Here, if you go for... Uh, March here yeah, you can see here previous days are disabled only uh, future days are available right one of my student asked me that in Java how to do the task in date picker this how he have to do uh, I will explain step by step you can see here here I am going to select the date 29 you have to check here you have to select the date here click book book uh, bus booked here seat number 3 customer name all the stuffs are there uh, here you can check the today date what are the tickets book 29 click search here Peter this is the only ticket it will book right I have booked only TP Peter you can check here right very simple okay now let me let me do this system step by step how to do the task here okay now here the same date if you are going to book another ticket you can see here uh, here I am going to change the name as uh, Raja the same date, same ticker, uh, sheet number 3, date, if you click book, sorry this uh, this ticket has been, this uh, sheet has been booked, right, sorry this has been booked, right, this sheet has been booked, okay, if you different sheet, if you have click here, click book, booked, see, very simple, uh, let me see how to do the system step by step, right, let me see, right, here, two tickets are booked right okay now let's close it right. now first what i'm going to do is go to the netbeans i have already opened file new project click java application click next if it is checked create main class you have to uncheck it here i'm going to create the project name as bus book bus book click finish your project has been created successfully bus book uh, this one i am going to all the stuff I am going to remove it on here. Now here this uh, project consists of two major folders, source packages library, select the source packages folder, select the source package new, J frame form, here we have to name it this one as a booking, this class name booking, right finish, right. this empty form, now I am going to design the form here, first I am going to name the heading, so go to the palette, drag one label, we have to name it this one as advanced bus booking. I just name it as advanced bus booking. Right click, properties, font property. I'm going to change it as bold with 24. Click OK. Right. Okay. Now if you want to uh, increase it another 66, right. Now what I am going to do is here, here I am going to track one label, this name it as a customer, one text field, right. now here what I am going to do is here, this one I am going to name customer, right click, properties, here we are going to default, 14, click OK. This one select here, properties, bold, for it. Click OK. Right. Now what I'm going to, I'm going to drag one panel. I'm going to add the sheets numbers. So drag one panel on the frame here. Here I'm going to add the sheets number, right? Right click on the frame, uh, this one, panel. Board, I'm going to change this one. Now you'll be easily, easily you have to identify the panel right here. Simple. Now you have to drag the labels. 
first label I'm going to drag here. This one right click, properties, I'm going to increase the font size as width bold 14, click OK. Or close, here right click, edit text 1. Same thing, control C, copy, control V to paste here, get the another copy. 2, control C, copy, control V to paste here. Here we have 2, 3. Control C, copy, control V to paste here. 4. Control C, copy, control V to paste here. 5. Control C, copy, control V to paste here. 6. Now what I'm going to do is here, we have to select all the labels, select all down the control C down and select all. Here control C copy, control V to paste here. We have to select here, we have to check all the stuff here. All down the control C down, select and we have to drag select this. Now here six is select one. Edit text seven. Eight. Nine. Ten, eleven, twelve. This is the text, right? You, have, you can check here. You have to arrange them. Right. You can check here. This is a simple one. You can will be able to book that ticket here, right? Now here you have to the same label. Control C, copy, Control V, paste here. Get it here. You have to this one. You have to seats. Check here, this one to the sheets. You can select the sheets here, right? Very simple. Right. Now, what I'm going to say, I need another field. So, the same uh, fields, order on the control key down and select this uh, label, control C, copy, control V, paste here, select and instead of drag the label again, very simple. This one should be, uh, we have to name it as uh, price. The same text box, C, control C, copy, control V, paste here, get the copy. Later on, we will change the name. Then it will be okay for that. Okay. After that, we need a uh, one button. Okay. So here, drag and drop. This one should be book. Select this here. Properties, font, bold, fourteen. Click OK. Right. Here, I am going to uh, put one calendar. Okay, this calendar is uh, not available uh, defaultly. You, you have to download this one, right, from internet, right? You just go to the Google and, and search it, J calendar jar. So, okay, then you will be able to download them, the jar file. You can, after download them, you have to extract the one. After that, you can add, go to the palette and you will be at, at this one, to your palette. It automatically come here, you can do it here, right? Simple, after that, here you can check the all the dates from here, this panel, right? Very simple. After that, what I'm going to do is here, uh, you have to drag one text area. So here, go here, text area, drag and drop here. Right. This is the thing you have to do. Very simple. You have to do the following task. Very simple. Select this one, properties, code, generate center, close it. Now what I'm going to do is select this one, txt, cast, right click, edit text, backspace to remove, this one, select this one, edit text, backspace to remove, select again, txt, price, this one select, txt, date, this one, txt, bill, okay. Right, that's the thing we have to do. Now let's run and check whether it's working fine or not. Select this one, right click, run file. Okay, it's perfect. This is a simple one, you can check. This is a simple user interface, very simple. Now let's write the code first. Okay, now what I'm going to do is here, let's close it. First go to the source. First what I'm going to do is here, this all the number, if you click the number one, it will be uh, we have to do this task, right? This is we have to set here as a mouse on click listener, okay? Event, okay? So, I would write mouse on click listener here is 
here this is your class right booking x and j frame it is x and this j frame here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to implement the mouse on click listener so how to implement it here is here this is a previous project i have just right here this simple one we have to put it here in this project we have to implement here this one we have to write it here implements you have to put the keyword implements after the mouse listener you have to write here this is the important stuff you have to uh, here if you write here there will be the error shown this is not an error if you write implement and the uh, mouse on click listener uh, there will be you have to implement some uh, abstract method right if you implement the mouse on click listener you have to implement following uh, abstract method if you click on this one here all the abstract method will be uh, display on on below here okay here these are the abstract methods right mouse on click listener press release enter these are the abstract method uh, methods uh, available in the mouse listener right so here get it one i have get it this one mouse click okay only listener this one i have to comment it you have to comment it we no need them only we need this only so we have to this one we no need here we have to write a code right so here first what i'm going to do is here first we have to this is your in, uh, uh, initialize component here we have to right here is we have to add the listeners so first we have to add the listeners here is first this one we have name it as name it here okay this one right click txt cast we have right and this one we have right this one okay select this one right click label this one label one right this label one your name it as uh, this one should be label two lbl2 so we have same thing control c copy this one label 3 4 5 6 7 Now what I am going to do first, we have to add the listeners successfully. After that, we have to write here is the, we have to write the, after that we have to go to the, this mouse click list, uh, mouse click this one, abstract method. We have to write here is, if this C parameter, you have to pass it here, dot get source, equal equal label one. If you have click the label one, what happens? We have to do, give here, right? Label one, we have to give here. So here, first what I'm going to do is here, we have to declare one variable above. Okay, here, declare a variable one variable, this is important stuff. We have to declare a variable, integer variable int sheet number equal zero. We are defined as zero, so we type, right? Same variable control C to copy, we have to place it here, sheet number equal one. This is sheet number. If you click the number one, sheet number will be one, right? The same thing, you have to write it. Another thing is else part, second one is else part, else if, same thing, 
can rotate the copy, can rotate the paste here. This one should be the LBL2. Right here, sheet number 2. Can rotate the copy, can rotate the paste, sheet number 2. The following you have to write 3, 4, 5, 6. That right here. LBL3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6, 7, 7, 8. This, this one should be 8. After that, 9. After that, can of the copy, can of the paste, uh, 10, so 10, can of the copy, can of the 11, so 11, final of the can of the copy, can of the 12, this one should be a 12, right. all stops are there, right. Now, let's check whether it's working fine or not. Now, here, uh, if you want to check whether it's working fine or not, here you have to, finally, you have to put the J option pan after the L6. Fan dot show message show message dialog you will be able to check this pass the sheet number control sheet copy control sheet paste here okay when you click what happened working it's working working you have to click on the number, okay? If you are click here, nothing will be happen, okay? Only if you click the number, only it will be work. Here, what is the ticket you all want to book? So you have to click on the number here, it will be working fine. Perfect, right? Now what I am going to do is we don't need this option pan. We have to remove it. Uh, if you want, you will be you can check here. If you like, okay, we don't need them. Okay, if you if you like, you will be keep it, right? Now what I'm going to do is we have to check this all the stuff here there. Uh, now first what I'm going to do is here. First I'm going to add the record. So we have we already created the database here book. I already created the database bus. Inside the database I have created the table book. This uh, book table, right? Uh, it, it has uh, this following uh, columns. Okay. So what I'm going to do is here. First what I'm going to we have to add the uh, MySQL database first, right? We have to add the MySQL. Okay, let's go to the Google. So type my SQL connector for Java. Click on the first link. Right. The what's the problem is my my uh, my internet connection is uh, very slow. That's why it take too much time. So it's, if you uh, if your internet connection is fast, it, it, it will be visit quickly. So this is the zip file you have to download. My SQL connector zip. Okay, if you click on the download button, it goes to the uh, relevant website for download. Here, no need to log in or sign up. Just click no thanks. Just start my down. If you click on the the link, your download has been started below. Okay, here you will be able to download here. After downloaded, I just cancel it. I already downloaded. I put into my e drive. So here how to get the, get them into my project is select the library folder, right click, add jar folder. Here, this is the I have put into my e drive. Select the relevant folder, my SQL connector here. Okay, I just hold on the control key down and both select the, these two drivers, right? Okay, here, okay, this one, here, this one, my SQL connector. Double click on this one here. You can will be there. Hold on control key down and select both. Open. We have to check whether it successfully reside on the here. It successfully reside here. So okay. now what I'm going to do is here. I'm going to uh, write the code for the add add record into the database first one, right? So how to add the records into the database is first we have to connect the make a connection first. Okay, just the connection is important stuff. So first we will be write the connection first. So let's go to source. We have to write here is we have to write the connection. We have to write public connect public white connect. We have to write the method white. If you write the white, it won't return. Right now, 
here we have to write here it simply you have to write uh, class dot phone name you have to register the mysql driver here com dot mysql dot jdbc dot driver you have to register driver first right okay it asks to import the try and catch you have to click on this one you have to import it after that what i am going to do you have to write a connection on this one you have to write the property of so we have to write here uh, connection we have to write the class as con okay okay we, after that you have to write the prepare statement statement pst right now here if you add the class click on here and add the class otherwise uh, i have a new method simply if you have to write import java dot SQL. You have to write asterisk mark. You will be access for all the SQL classes if you write the asterisk mark. Here, yeah. error goes. Instead of writing here, it's very simple. You have to write like this. Following this way, it's very simple. Uh, okay. My previous past tutorials also I have added this added like this. I, this is my new method. You have to write like this. Very simple. You have to use this way. Okay. Here, write con equal driver manager. dot get connection here we have right jdbc colon mysql colon your database will reside on the local host okay local host what is the database name bus sirs this is the database name you have to write buses this is the database right here you have to write the user cred credential for the mysql when you uh, install the mysql server uh, actually exam server i i installed the exam server so here exam server so here the default username will be root uh, default password will be blank right so you have to specify the username and password here right user credential is important stuff here okay after that you have to add the catch block here now your errors go away this is simple stuff you have to register the driver and show the database path here so here we have to this one control c copy this method you have to call into uh, the constructor when the constructor is load uh, connection get load right the connection method get loaded right that's in here right now we will be write the code for the insert code right click event action perform this action perform this action perform right now here we have to write the insert code very simple you have write insert code is Here, first we have write here is first uh, we have write initialize the we have to uh, this this all the values are passed into the relevant this text box this text box all the stuff right so first we have write for strings we have write the string string customer equal txt cast I have named the text box as uh, get text this text box name I have put in as this cast When when the person type on this anything else, it assigns this variable. After the same thing, can also copy can also paste here. Second one should be sheet. Sheet will be getting from here this variable. So we have to write here sheet. This now this sheet. Right. So we have to create a new variable in create in sheets with the name sheets one. This variable has been sheet number. Can also copy, can also paste it. But the sheet number you are getting, click on this one. It will be assigned to this variable. It assigned to this variable, right? After that, we are getting the another relevant field. So price. So price also we are not going to calculate anything here. So simply you write string price equal txt price dot get text. After that, we are write the result. Uh, date. Okay, you have write simple date. Date format. You have simple date format. Date format. Date format. You have write a date form equal. You have write a new. The simple one. Simple date format. This one. Can also copy. Can also paste here. You have write here is. You have write year, year, year. 
month, um, month, month, month. Here you have to write a date. You have to write here. Simple like date here. Import the class here. After that, you have to write string date equal txt date dot get text. Uh, sorry, uh, txt you have to write the format. This uh, date format is this one. Control C, copy, Control D, paste here. Dot format. You have to write here is txt date dot get it. Get it. You have to write like this. Simple. Simple way. You have to write like this. Okay. After that, we have to add the records into the database. Very simple. You have to write here. Uh, prepare statement of this. I have created already above PST equal connection dot prepare statement. Here, already created above the prepare statement object and connection object. Now we have to edit here. Prepare statement. You have to write the prepare statement here, right? So how to write the prepare statement is here is you have to write select all from book where date equal question mark. This is a prepare statement and sheet number equal question mark right okay now here you have to add the try catch block here right now here after you have write pst you have set the pra parameters here set string one so date date means this date after that second one should be the sheet number so then second should, um, should be the sheet number you have to pst this one should be the int so set int so the sheet number is this sheet number, sheet number one, is right. Okay. After that you have to write the uh, uh, result set objects. I haven't written here. Result set object I have created above. So important stuff result set. Result set. RS you have to create RS. Okay. This this is reading the uh, column and rows into the database. So we have to write database column, right? So we write rs equal pst dot execute code it is reading if the record is there right so why i do do the things here is first add the record into the database first we have to check whether the sheet is already booked or not so we have to check here the particular day you have booked the that particular ticket uh, sheet okay if you if you already booked the uh, sheet number three if you click again the particular day you are selected the error should be displayed this this uh, sheet number is already booked so that i have to write like this this is very essential thing when you are writing here okay after that what i am going to do is here i am going to check here so you have to write rs rs is reading the database rows and column rows and column equal equal true mean if it is true this record is the sheet number already booked so we have to uh, show the message as so message dialog uh, show message so message dialog this we have to write here is we have to write the error this sheet number already booked this sheet number already booked booked something Otherwise, we have to add the records into the database. You have to write the code here. Insert code here. Right? So you have to write the insert code, prepare statement, PST equal connection dot prepare statement. So you have to write uh, you have to write the insert code. How to write the insert code here? You have to write insert into which table you are going to insert the record books table book table this book table you are going to insert the records right so you have to write book table you have to specify the columns names here uh, what is the names you are following uh, this columns names right this column following columns c name sheet number price c name sheet number sheet number price C name, uh, sheet number, price, date, comma, date, values, you have to write the, here the values, you have to assign the para, parameters here. 
how many fields are there? Four. So we have to put it four parameters. So here we have to write the set into the param those parameters. So we have to set string one. One means the following is one. Customer name is the field one. So customer name is variable. Kind of copy kind of here. Second one should be the same thing we are getting here. Kind of copy kind of here. Second one should be the sheet number. Kind of sheet copy kind of here. Third one should be the price. This third price kind of sheet copy kind of here. Hey, what is the error here? Is Sheet number should be the int, so here if you have write the parameter type set int, okay, if it is integer, final one to the date, date also you have write set int, the fourth one, right, okay, this sequence of the parameters follow the sequence of the columns, into the columns in the database table, right, the sequence of the parameters follow the sequence of the table into the database, right, this is a simple structure, you have to understand that, right, okay, if you call the method uh, so int I'm going to create the variable as k equal pst dot update right if you call this method the number of rows are affected this all the rows was added the rec record is added into the database right this uh, query find all the records are added into the sequence of the columns are uh, match with the sequence of the parameters record is added the, uh, into the database right so we have to check here uh, we have to put the if also we can check if k equal equal 1 we have to write here j option fan dot show message this we have to write here record sheet book uh, sheet book sheet book Anything failure, the same thing can be copy, can be paste here. Fail, wrong, something wrong, something wrong. Very simple, very simple, very simple. So, if this is not error, you have to try to import the catch block surrounded with the right, you have to have an, the catch block here. Now here what I am going to do is here, this is not an error, here we have to import the try catch, click on this one and here this one, we need a, uh, the, this one, this expression catch, you have to put it here, this all error is go away, uh, here what the problem here is, Here, I'm going to create a separate function. 
So that is a good function. It's very simple stuff to add that things first. So we have a uh, public while build. Get the method name as build, right? So the build method. First what I'm going to save the all the this variable, so all the variables, control C, so all the variables are assigned to the particular, uh, so all the text boxes and date picker, all the stuff assigned to the particular uh, variables, we have to put it to here. We have to write here is, like the uh, another stuff is here, we have to write uh, the code. This one should be, we have to name this one. Here should be, we have to write it. So we have txt build dot set text dot set text here we have right uh, txt build dot get text here we have right a strict mask we have right here this one here we have right next line. So write next line like this. Okay, this is simple stuff here, right? Following this stuff. Very simple. Uh, what is the other? Here we have right. Uh, this packet is closed here.
select the date, click book, sheet book, click OK. See how we generate the sheet. Okay, so how we generate the, the method we are called the date field method, control field copy. Here we have to put in the stick also. Build method control field copy. So the paste after I insert the record. This is insert the record. So insert the record. So you have to check the uh, box uh, sheet book. After that, you have call this method. This bill uh, should be shown, right? What you are written here. Okay, this bill should be shown. Now let's run and check. Now let's run the application. James, uh, here I write Rajesh, ticket number 12, 3000, the day, click book, sheet book, so you can see, simple sheet, it's book successful, right? Here, but uh, here you, what you are going to do is here, you have to do something professional, click on this one, here you have to properties, this one you have to make it as 14 or oh, for uh, 14 size okay now with both now you can check here now it's very simple here you can check and run it customer uh, Ravi six three thousand click see this working fine very simple you can see here, right Okay, you have to adjust the things, right? If it is go here, something like that, you have to adjust it. Go here and you can adjust it, right? Something like that. If you adjust, if you reduce the size, it will be coming like this. You can adjust like this and do the task, right? Okay, uh, next step I'm going to do is here. I'm going to select the particular day. What are the ticket books? We have to check, check the ticker seat availability. So we have to put one button here, check. This name, I'm going to put that check. Select this one, properties, font color, bold, 14, click OK, check. Okay, now here we have to select the things, uh, this one, right here, here go here, uh, we have to make this one as new form, this one will make that check. Now here first part I am going to do simply, with this very simple code. We need, we need one date, date. Okay. After that, we need one uh, check uh, text box text field. After that, I need one. This one I have make the size little bit into the size little bit. 14 like this. This one also I have to increase the size with text box size. Right now, I need one J table. This one right here. Right. Now, we are specify the columns. Right here, we have need one button. Right, the search criteria bar. Sorry, this one should be the text, not text box. Date picker, date chooser. The date chooser, the date chooser. Right. The particular day, what are the tickets sold? We have to easily find. This one should be check, check, search. Right. Now let's check. How is work? First, we have to specify the column name. We have to go to the columns. This person should, this one should be the ID, customer name, sheet number. Price only. We no need other stuff. You have to select the date. You have to pick up all the stuff. Select this again. Table content. You have to remove the default rows. Select and delete. Select and delete. Select and delete. Right. Close it. Now what I'm going to do is here. Select the search criteria. Event action action perform. First we no need them. We have to write the, this all the connectivity all the stuff we have written here. The same connect to all the stuff you have to control C to copy, control V to paste above here. After that, the class, right, all the stuff you have to connect and paste it here. After that, what I am going to do is here, 
second stuff is uh, uh, this one. Load the things, right? The simple stuff you have to write search kitty here. So the simple search I have to return already here. This one, this all search I have to control C to copy the search code. You have to get it here. This one action action from you have to write here. Okay, we no need write again by again. Simple stuff here. Here we have to book where uh, date you have to set the date. Okay, we no need the uh, sheets. Okay, date. Okay, particular date, what other records sold, right? Now here first you have to write the these things. The booking table you have to copy this one. Date format, all the stuff. Instead of writing again and again again. Right. This one we have to name this one. Control C to copy the same name. I have to put it here as well. Change variable, control V to be the same name. Okay. Okay, the same name. Okay, now same name. Uh, okay, now here this same name, here date, date here to put it here. Here we have to import the try and catch. The same thing, control X to cut off, control V to paste here. Sheets we no need, only one parameter here. But particular day, what is the date, right? Now here, what I'm going to do is we have to write the some query here. So if the ticket is not available particular day, so you have to write if rs dot next equal uh, rs dot uh, false, this one is a false, equal equal false. You have right here is J option pan show message this you have right here is sheet sheet not found sheet no sheet no no sheet book no sheet no no sheet books no sheet booked booked, booked right else else part you have right here as result set meta data create a class rsd equal rs dot get metadata to write the class right the data you have right here at the class right after that you have right here you have to create the variables in c equal rsd dot get column count here we have right after that you have to default table model d equal create the object d you have to cast it here so you have to write the bracket inside the bracket you have to cast it. Uh, you have to write J this, what is the name of the J table? This is a name. J table one. So you have to write here J table one dot get model dot get model. Here we have to write D dot. Alright, here we have to add the class in the fair dot set model set row count so count first one is zero right after that what I'm going to do is here you have to write a while loop while rs dot next you have to write here is vector v2 equal new vector right here is and this one so you have to write here for loop your for int i equal one i less than c here i plus plus here we have to write here v2 dot add rs dot get string ID same thing control C to copy right. second one should be the C name sheet number price sheet number price sheet number price 
right finally you have to write here b dot add row b2 that again you have to write this b2 you have to add it right the same thing this is a simple thing you have to do right okay what is the record you are coming here right what is the uh, record you are selected for the particular date right that's a very simple stuff you have to do here okay now what i'm going to do here is we have to simply this for form we have to right click what's the error here so here what is the problem here is you have to select this one so generate center and at the same time the default close operation we have to put this one as a height only height okay it's only height if you have to put it here only this stuff and here we have to put the button this button we have to we have to double click on this we have to write here check c equal new check c dot set disable true right now let's run and check Now, if you have to check, so select the date. Sir, what the problem? The problem is uh, sheet uh, book. Here, yeah, book and uh, date. This is a book uh, date. So date. Yeah. All right. The problem is here. This this construct uh, this method cannot be copied when the initialize method here called. Okay, when the method is initialized, we have to call this connection method inside the constructor. Then will be the database will be connected, right? I I didn't do the task. That's why the error shown. Now let's run and edit. Check. Right here, particular day. What are the sheets, sheets books? All the stuff are here displayed successfully. Uh, I hope you guys you understood the things well. If you have any doubt on this this one, you can ask me anytime. If you click close here, uh, it is closed. Uh, if you have any doubt on this one, you can ask me anytime. If you like my channel, please subscribe me, like me. Uh, thank you for watching.